let's now turn our attention to that great progressive hero, Fergus Ewing. Ugh. It looks like Fergus, after various provocations, is going to be suspended by the SNP group next week, or at least there's going to be a vote on it. I understand that there has to be two-thirds support, and this is after him voting to uh, get rid of the Green Minister, Lorna Slater, voting against various Scottish government policies and, of course, ripping up uh, policy literally in the chamber. Um, John, it's not a surprise that the SNP is going to act, is it? No, I don't think it's surprising. I think it's going to be very interesting to um, see how that vote goes. Um, Fergus Ewing, if, if anything, he sums up this sort of um, older idea of the SNP where they were, if anything, perhaps a little bit right of centre, the old Tartan Tories kind of thing. He believes the party should be very pro-business. Um, there is another faction now that um, is much more left-wing and he's railed against that on countless occasions. The reason this is going to be very interesting is because a lot of the things that he, he's spoken out, I mean, in, in normal circumstances, you would think that um, suspending him would be a no-brainer. He's voted against the party. He's spoken out on numerous occasions against the leadership. But the thing about this is that all of the issues that he's spoken out against the leadership on are things that arguably are very unpopular with the, the public and that there's probably a sizable faction within the SNP that would like to see a, a change of direction. We're obviously talking about deposit return, about um, fishing ban, which has now been reversed, um, talking about the, the, the deal with the Greens, um, the policy to have um, all homes installed, heat pumps. Um, these are things that the public believe could be really problematic.